The heart will break, but broken live on. Expect trouble as an inevitable part of life, and repeat to yourself the most comforting words of all. This, too, shall pass. In three words I can sum up everything. I've learned about life. It goes on. Cry, forgive, learn, move on, let your tears water the seeds of your future happiness. You don't have to let that one thing be the thing that defines you. Love is prove the moment you let go of someone because they need you too. The only way to make sense out of change is to plunge into it, move with it, and join the dance. The only thing a person can ever really do is keep moving forward, take that big leap forward without hesitation, without once looking back, simply forget the past and forge toward the future. When I let go of what I am, I become what I might be. When I let go of what I have, I receive what I need. Finding beauty in a broken world is creating beauty in the world we find. When you feel at peace with your troubles, they turn into lessons and ladders to help you climb to the next level of your evolution. Get past your past, be a presence in your present, and let no one refute your future. It is not easy to let go, but when you do not, only do you realize the strength that lies within you, you also create an opportunity to see God perform the best of miracles in your life. When you hold on to a script that doesn't serve you, you leave no space to write a new one that does. Grief is in two parts. The first is loss. The second is the remaking of life. Peace can only be achieved by letting go of the past and accepting what is. Letting go means to come to the realization that some people are a part of your history, but not a part of your destiny. Getting over a painful experience is much like crossing monkey bars. You have to let go at some point in order to move forward. In order to move on, you must understand why you felt what you did and why you no longer need to feel it. People have a hard time letting go of their suffering. Out of a fear of the unknown, they prefer suffering that is familiar. 1. You must let the pain visit. 2. You must allow it teach you. 3. You must not allow it overstay. 3. Roots to healing. The choice isn't to move on life moves. Whether I want it to or not, no, the choice is to look forward, not backward, to take a step. Because refusing to move won't draw the past nearer, only postpone better days. You can't start a new chapter in your life if you keep re-reading the last one. But there's a whole world waiting, still, and there are good things in it. Dare to live by letting go. It doesn't take a lot of strength to hang on. It takes a lot of strength to let go. If there are people you haven't forgiven, you're not going to really awaken. You have to let go. The most beautiful people we have known are those who have known defeat, known suffering, known struggle, known loss, and have found their way out of those depths. Loss is part of life. If you don't have loss, you don't grow. Every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end. Let go. Why do you cling to pain? There is nothing you can do about the wrongs of yesterday. It is not yours to judge. 
Why hold on to the very thing which keeps you from hope and love? A very wise man once told me that you can't look back. You just have to put the past behind you and find something better in your future. Life is like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep moving. You gain strength, courage, and confidence by every experience in which you really stop to look fear in the face you are able to say, to yourself I have lived through this horror, I can take the next thing that comes along, you must do the thing you think you cannot do. Hearts live by being wounded. I've always believed that if you don't stay moving, they will throw dirt on you. For a long time, the fact that I was divorced was the most important thing about me, and now nah, it's not. Now the most important thing about me is that I'm old. Moving on is easy. It's staying moved on that's trickier. I realize there's something incredibly honest about trees in winter, how they're experts at letting things go. The secret of change is to focus all of your energy, not on fighting the old, but on building the new. Life is short, you have to be able to laugh at our pain or we never move on. The broken heart, you think you will die, but you keep living, day after day after terrible day. You've got to make a conscious choice, every day to shed the old whatever the old means for you. I'm choosing happiness over suffering, I know I am. I'm making space for the unknown future, to fill up my life with yet-to-come surprises. Every time you thought you couldn't keep moving forward, you did. Take a moment to appreciate your strength. Some of us think holding on makes us strong, but sometimes it is letting go. Sadness flies away on the wings of time. Breathe, let go, and remind yourself that this very moment is the only one you know you have for sure. Every day brings a chance for you to draw in a breath, kick off your shoes, and dance. Think like a queen, a queen if not afraid to fail. Failure is another stepping stone to greatness. Life is full of many unpredictable changes. Let go of chaos yesterday. Cheerfully live for today, and look forward to tomorrow with greater possibilities. It's our imperfections that make us perfect in our own unique ways. The universe is not short on wake-up calls. We're just quick to hit the snooze button. But what we know now is that when we deny our emotion, it owns us. When we own our emotion, we can rebuild and find our way through the pain. When we deny our stories and disengage from tough emotions, they don't go away. Instead, they own us, they define us. Pain will subside only when we acknowledge it and care for it, addressing it with love and compassion would take only a minuscule percentage of the energy it takes to fight it, but approaching pain head-on is terrifying. Rising strong after a fall is how we cultivate wholeheartedness in our lives. It's the process that teaches us the most about who we are. Every day is a new day, and you will never be able to find happiness if you don't move on. You build on failure, you use it as a stepping stone, close the door on the past. You don't try to forget the mistakes, but you don't dwell on it. You don't let it have any of your energy or any of your time. 
or any of your space. I really believe in move on, live and let live, forgive and forget. Once I was asked if there was one part of your life that you could erase, what would it be? And I was so stunned by that. I thought, nothing. I would keep all the good bits and the bad bits because those things made me who I am. Be honest about how you approach failure. Don't just be critical of yourself because that and be self-serving. Approach it honestly. Assess your performance and assess the areas where you have fallen short. Correct them and move on. Don't dwell on it. Don't hold on to it. Letting go of someone we love is the hardest thing we will ever do. Some people never surrender to love for the fear of being hurt, but to not have loved, to not have felt. The immense joy it brings would have been a far worse kind of death. This is a good sign, having a broken heart. It means we have tried for something. We looked into one another's eyes, and I think we both knew in that instant that the past was behind us. We could never be to each other what we had been once. You loved him enough to let him leave. Now you need to love yourself enough to let him go. What we wait around a lifetime for with one person, we can find in a moment with someone else. Everyone's allowed to be in love with the wrong person at some point. In fact, it's a mistake not to be. No matter who broke your heart or how long it takes to heal, you'll never get through it without your friends. You cry, lady, you have a good cry, that's what's needed now. And when you're ready you can get to work, because you're strong enough. You're strong enough for the task. When he left, you spent all your energy holding on to him. You could be happy if you let go. So I am hanging on to the bumper and life goes on and the car goes on and I get really badly bruised and I'm hitting potholes and it hurts, it really hurts. So yesterday I had to let go of the bumper because it hurts too much. You may think your only choices are to swallow your anger or throw it in someone's face, but there's a third option. You can just let it go, and only when you do that is it really gone and you can move forward. Thank God I found the good in goodbye. After a breakup, it takes a couple weeks for the fog to settle but it's always a period of self-priority and growth. Life presents you with so many decisions. A lot of times, they're right in front of your face, and they're really difficult, but we must make them. The cure for a broken heart is simple, my lady. A hot bath and a good night's sleep. Sometimes, Good things fall apart so better things can fall together. Don't dwell on what went wrong. Instead, focus on what to do next. Spend your energies on moving forward toward finding the answer. When we are in love, we are convinced nobody else will do. But as time goes, others do do and often do much, much better. If you really want closure at some point, you have to shut the door. Heartbroken, channel your sorrow to become worthy of love. The world will be yours. My feet will want to walk to where you are sleeping, but I shall go on living.